Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to say thank you so much for your loving kindness. Thank you for your message. Thank you for this day that you have made. Thank you, Lord, for this day that the whole world is marking the great sacrifice that you, Lord Jesus, made for the salvation of all mankind. We are so grateful that you paid that very supreme sacrifice for all of our sakes. Thank you so much that we are your children, that this day we are not just celebrating, but we are celebrating knowing that we are part and parcel of you, that you have saved us, and that you will continue to be with us at all times. Lord, we have come to the hour of prayer. We ask that the Holy Spirit will help us. Spirit of the living God, please come and help us. Grant that our prayers will receive the attention of the Father, and that the Father will answer our prayers. Thank you, Lord our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. I believe that you have seen God's goodness. You have seen the mercies of the Almighty God. The fact that you are alive today is obviously a proof to this truth that God is good and you have seen his goodness. I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen, I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent in my life every day. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me, O oh Lord, you are excellent in my life. O oh Lord, you have been so good, you are so good to us. O oh Lord, you are excellent in our lives every day. Oh, Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to all. Oh, Lord, you are excellent in our lives. This is the truth. He has been so good. And I trust that he will continue his goodness even in all of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to believe that you know that this time we are in is not an accident to the Almighty God. It's not an accident. Before we got to this time, our Father had known it. He knew that this time was coming. He knew that what the world is facing right now was coming. He knew everything. He is also on top of everything, even right now. Therefore, I want us to rejoice and to be glad, knowing that our Father has always been, and He's still very much in charge forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Therefore, I want us to begin with thanksgiving. And in doing that, I want us to read the book of Isaiah chapter 46. Verse 10, Isaiah 46, verse 10. He says, concerning God, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasures. God declares the things that we are seeing. He declares the things that will be seen even in the tomorrow from ancient times and he has made it known that his cancer must stand therefore i want us to take it that the counsel of god is what is standing in this present time 
and that's why you are preserved that's why i am preserved therefore shall we go before him and give him thanks for the fact that God is allowing his cancer to stand, his cancer to prevail. Let's just go and give him thanks. Give him thanks. In everything, give thanks to the Lord our God. Shall we give him thanks? Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to say thank you. Thank you, thou God of heaven and earth that declares the things that be not as though they were and the things that are you have declared them from ancient time and you have made it known that you are cancer with stand thank you lord because it is not a cancer of satan that is standing it is your cancer oh god your cancer is the one standing i'm saying lord thank you thank you my father thank you ancient of days be glorified forever be exalted lord Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we've given thanks. Amen. In the book of Psalm chapter 100, verses 3 to 5, Psalm 103 to 5, Psalm 100, verses 3 to 5, he says, Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that the Lord our God is good and his mercy endures even unto everlasting. The message of our God is unto everlasting. He said we should enter into his court with thanksgiving. Into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. The Lord our God is good and we must never forget this fact. We are his people. You and I are his people and because we are his people, this is why we are calling on him at this point in time. He is the one that made us. He made you. He made me. He made all of us. He formed us in our mother's wombs. He knows everything about us. He knows every inch of every step that we take in this life. Our God knows all things and that's why we must give him thanks. That's why we must appreciate him. Let us let me lead us even in this thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, I want to say again, thank you so much. Thank you for my brethren wherever they are watching from. Thank you for the families, oh God, that are being represented here. Thank you for the nation that are being represented. Lord, you made us. We didn't make ourselves. You created us. You are our God and we are your people. And what a privilege to know that the almighty God is our father and that we are your own, O oh God, and that we belong to you. What a joy to know this. What a joy to know that you are on top of every situation in this life. Lord, I am saying thank you with my brethren. We are saying thank you because you are the God who made us. You are the God who is in charge of our lives. You are the God who is controlling all the affairs that are happening in our world today. You are in charge. You are on top of every matter. I want to say thank you. You are aware, oh God, you knew it before this time that we shall be on this lockdown, that we will not be able to go out and fellowship the way we normally do. But I want to say thank you even for the opportunity that we have, that we are able in this time and season to reach out unto our brethren in different places globally. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the internet. Thank you for Facebook. Thank you, Lord, for if these things were not there, how could we have been able to reach out unto ourselves? Lord, you are a master planner. We are saying thank you that we can reach ourselves, we can communicate, we can join our forces together and call on you, even as we are doing right now. And that distance is not a barrier whatsoever. Thank you for making this possible. Lord, we are very grateful. Lord, we are grateful. I'm saying thank you together with my brethren. Please accept our thanks for being our God and we being your people. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God is good. And I want us to now call on the Lord our God we have been hearing the things that have been happening in our world today, but we have also some good news here and there. We do have good news. For instance, in Kenya today, 
We have heard that 10 people, today is the 10th of April, and 10 people were discharged, recovered from this pandemic, from this evil, from this coronavirus. 10 people in Kenya were discharged because they were free. On this day, that is the 10th of April, and that's something to give thanks to God for. And we are grateful, but we want to push back the evil forces. We want to push back the enemy. We want to send him back. We want to stop his advancement. It is possible, brothers and sisters. It is possible. It is possible. If you have taken note, you will have noticed that there are certain prayers that we have prayed that the Almighty God is responding to. You are aware that some some weeks ago, about uh, 10 days ago or so, no, about 11 days ago or 12 days ago, in Kenya, based on statistics, based on science, based on what people calculated and said, this is likely going to happen. Our CS in charge of health told us that by the 15th, by half of the month, that's 15th of April, we shall be having about 5,000 people with this coronavirus in Kenya. And we prayed on the first and pushed back and said, it shall not happen, it shall not be. And the Lord our God is honoring that prayer. We haven't even reached 200 yet in Kenya. And so we have every reason to know and to understand that when we pray and believe him, our God has the capacity to push back the enemy, to cause every of his advancement to cease, to stop. And he has the power to bring an end to this pandemic. Even in a day, he is in charge. He controls everything. And therefore, we know, we know, and we must know that God will hear and he will yet answer our prayers. Let's take a reading from the book of Jeremiah chapter 32. Jeremiah chapter 32, verses 17 and 18. Jeremiah 32, 17 and 18. Ah, Lord God, this is the prophet Jeremiah speaking. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power, and stretch out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Hallelujah. The prophet is saying to Jehovah, there is nothing too hard for thee. And I am echoing the prophet Jeremiah. There is nothing too hard for Jehovah. There is nothing too hard for our God. In verse 18, Thou showest loving kindness unto thousands and recompenseth the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great, the mighty God, the Lord of hosts is his name. Brothers and sisters, there is no reason for any of us to ever imagine that the almighty God will bring the iniquities of our fathers, the punishment for their iniquities upon us. Because here the Bible says, God does that for those, for those people, those people that are after such fathers, those people who are after such fathers, whose ways are like those fathers. But by his grace, if our fathers, forefathers, great grand grandfathers didn't know the Lord, didn't worship him, we are worshippers of the living God. And therefore, we are the people that obtain the mercy of Jehovah God. Now, on the ground that the prophet said, Ah, Lord God, thou have made the heaven and the earth by thy great power, by thy outstretched arm. Nothing is too difficult for thee. I want us brothers and sisters to push back and I want you to take it from your heart. Believe it with all your heart. Let us push back this enemy. Let us push back this enemy. Let's stop his advancement. He is still killing a lot and a lot of people all over the world. The case of America is pathetic. Let's push back the enemy. Let's ask the Lord our God to cause his mighty wind to blow and cause the enemy to stop his advancement. He can do it. Jehovah can do it. Therefore, let's go before him, brothers and sisters. Let's go and pray. Let's call on him. Let's push back the enemy. This dragon, this evil, this demon must be pushed back. 
This evil spirit must be pushed back. This coronavirus must be put back. By the power of Jehovah God, nothing is too hard for him. Nothing is impossible to him. Our God and our Father, the ancient of days, the God who walks wonders, past finding out, with your children, I join forces with my brethren all over the globe. Wherever they are, we join forces and say, Lord God Almighty, let the advancement of this evil, let the advancement of this demon, let the advancement of this evil that has come to stay, to kill, and to destroy the lives of people and tend the many to her. Let his advancement, O oh God, be stopped. We push back this evil. We push back this evil. We push back this enemy by the power of your spirit, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, you can continue this advancement. You can continue this advancement for there is power with our God. We have power with our God to stop your advancement all over the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Father, you are God, you are not man. You are cancer, she has stand. You are cancer, she has stand. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let me round up that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come into agreement with my brethren wherever they are all over the world participating in this hour of prayer. We agree together in the reign of the Spirit, knowing that we are one in Christ Jesus. We agree together as we beseech you, our Father, as people that have power with you by your grace. We push back, O oh God. We push back the enemy. We agree together to push back Satan and all his forces. This coronavirus, this demon, this COVID-19, Lord, we push him back in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Papa, there is nothing too hard for you. Nothing absolutely. You made the heavens and the earth by your great power, by your outstretched arm. Nothing is too difficult. Lord, do it for us. Do it for us. This evil is killing people, sending them to hell. We refuse this. We reject this in the name of Jesus. As we are turning the heart of people, O oh God, back to yourself, we are saying ancient of days. Let the advancement of this evil, let the advancement of this demon, O oh God, be stopped by your mighty power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ancient of days, Lord Jesus, you are the lion of the tribe of Judah, and we are of the tribe of Judah, having been redeemed by you. Let this evil, O oh God, be brought down. Let this evil be slain. Let this evil, O oh God, be vanquished in the name of Jesus Christ. It is in your power, Daddy. To do this, let your cancer stand in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed, and the people of God say everywhere, Amen. Praise the Lord. Prayer number three, brothers and sisters, as we continue to push back this enemy, we must also pray one prayer for all of us, for each and every one of us, and the members of our family. And that is the prayer that this evil, this evil will not near any of us. It will not near any of our family members. Satan will not near any of us. He will not near any of our family members. I want us to take that note, even as I read the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Romans 8, 28, popular scripture. And we know, and that is you and I, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Everything work together for good. Therefore, it means there is a goodness. There is a goodness for you and for me. There is a goodness for all of us who are children of the living God. He said, 
<clears throat> and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. You and I love God. I believe you love him. I believe you love him. I love him. And I believe you do too. Therefore, if we love him, if you love him like I do, this is what the scripture says. He said to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. The people who love God and are called according to his purpose. We are called according to his purpose. We are about the business of his kingdom. We are about doing exactly what he has charged us to do on a daily basis. Therefore, there is a goodness. There is a goodness because this coronavirus is part of all things. He says, and we know. Say it to yourself, and I know, and I know. I know that I know that I know that I know that this situation we are in is working out for my good. A songwriter wrote and sang, I can see everything turning around, everything turning around, everything turning around for my good. I can see everything turning around for us, turning around, turning around for our good so if the scripture has it that we know that all things work together for good to them that love god and that are called according to his purpose it means there is some goodness in this thing for you and for me therefore i want us to pray a prayer that no member of our family not you not any member of your family shall have this virus it will not touch you. It will not touch any of us. Shall we make that our prayer? Make it your prayer right now. And the Lord will hear. Say, I refuse, I reject, I refuse, I reject that this evil shall touch me, shall touch any member of my family. I refuse that this evil, I refuse, I refuse any entrance of this evil into the church into the body of christ i refuse and i reject it in the name of jesus into the family of god i refuse and i reject this evil make it your prayer right away pray le ambro kuskiza abalinde le huka ukuzanzi ka ampre la lenda guski isa abre gale apra luski pale patu mabele lendo lunsku sale la hapra le galuza le ampre kale iskizala Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand, O oh God, by the integrity of your word to declare, knowing that you have said all things work together for good. Lord, this evil shall not near me, it shall not near my wife, it shall not near our son, his goodness, our son, it shall not near also our members, the solution family. We reject it in the body of Christ. This evil shall not near us in the name of Jesus Christ. Le Zalea, a palindo la lepra do calapalus, se cacalem palela don de la haka, le anso cale a pranga le levo, ma prale cabloski zale talia, malendo la locrandeskiza. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let me round up that prayer point. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word, this coronavirus. This pandemic that is here on earth is working out something for our own good, for our individual lives good, for our families good, for the good of your church. And we are saying thank you. Let that good, O oh God, be made manifest. Let it stand. Let nothing, O oh God, take it away. Ancient of days, by the integrity of your word, I agree with my brethren that this thing will work out for our good because love by your grace we love you we are called according to your purpose thank you father for the goodness that abound even in this the manifestations of your power in diversities of ways all of it which for your glory for your honor and for your praise thank you father in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can I hear you say amen? Amen. Prayer number four. <clears throat> Hallelujah. We pray prayer number four 
First, we read from the book of Job chapter 22. You know the scripture, Job 22, 29. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, There is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. Now, brothers and sisters, there are already some of us, some of our brethren who are losing their jobs. There are some people who are losing jobs right now. But one encouragement is in this truth, that whatsoever that happens to us, anything that comes our way as God's children is not an accident. God is well aware of it before something begins to happen. Therefore, we know that even those who are losing jobs shall have a testimony to share to the glory of God concerning the power of the Most High God. In line with this scripture, it says, when men, when men are cast down, we shall say, you and I that believe in the Lord God Almighty, we, you and I that trust him, that call on him, that worship, that serve him, shall be saying there is a lifting up. Therefore, I want us to pray, even those who are experiencing a very, very turbulent time right now, as the church, as families, and as individuals, let us make this declaration. There is a lifting up, a lifting up, a lifting up, a lifting up. Let's begin to speak it, make it loud and clear, sound it. There shall be, there is a lifting up for me, a lifting up for my family, a lifting up for my the church I belong to, a lifting up for the body of Christ, a lifting up for the nation. By the grace of the Almighty God, let's make this our prayer. Let's make it our prayer. There is a lifting up. There is a lifting up. None of us shall be cast down. When men are cast down, when people are cast down, we shall not be among them that are cast down. That shall not happen. That shall not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Even those who may have lost their job, there is no casting down for them. It shall not happen. It shall not be. It's a lifting up. It's a lifting up. That is our portion. Let's pray. Pray with all your heart and believe it. As you speak it, believe it. There is a lifting up for each and every one of us. There is a lifting up for the church. There's a lifting up for the solution family of our society. There's a lifting up for my family. There's a lifting up for me. There's a lifting up for all of us. There's a lifting up. This, we shall not be counted among those that are cast down. No way. Not when the Lord our God is in charge. Pray. Lehambukuskiza. Daddy, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up for me, lifting up for my wife, lifting up for favor, lifting up for goodness, our children, lifting up, oh God, our family as a whole, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up for the church, Lord, lifting up for the redeemed Christian church of God, solution family, Eastern Africa region to ogle in the entire world, lifting up for the body of Christ as a whole. There is nothing less being cast down. We shall not be cast down, Lord. I thank you. I give you praise, give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now let me round up that prayer. O Lord God of heaven and earth, there is a lot of being cast down, going on. There is a lot of casting down, casting down, casting down. But I declare here and now together with my brethren that casting down or being cast down is not our portion and will never be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. As thou, O God, live it, our portion is that there is and there will always be a lifting up for us, a lifting up for us, a lifting up for your children everywhere they are, a lifting up for the church, a lifting up for the church, a lifting up, a lifting up for the church in the name of Jesus. We shall never be cast 
cast down, we shall never be counted among those that are cast down. We will not be numbered among men that are cast down. We will not be numbered among churches that are cast down. We will not be numbered among organizations that are cast down. We will not be numbered among families that are cast down. We will not be numbered among individuals that are cast down. There is a lifting up. Even those, oh God, who have been, who have received letters of either termination or redundancy in their places of work, we declare concerning each and every one of them that there is a lifting up. They shall be lifted. They shall be lifted. There is a way out. There's a way out. There's a way out. And thou, O oh God, will make a way for my brethren. You will make a way. You will make a way. You will open doors, amazing doors for each and every one of them, whatever they are. None of us shall be cast down. In Jesus' mighty name, I and we have prayed. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. Now, finally, I want us to ask the Lord our God, who has been faithful and who will remain faithful to continue to help us and to never forsake us, no matter how bad a situation may be. First Samuel chapter 12, verse 22. First Samuel chapter 12, verse 22. The Bible records, For the Lord will not forsake his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord will not forsake his people. For his great name's sake, because it hath pleased the Lord to make you his people. He says, The Lord will not forsake his people. Jehovah will not forsake you. Jehovah will not forsake me. Jehovah will not forsake us, because he hath pleased him to make us his own people. It pleased him. We didn't save ourselves. Jesus came and died for us. That is why we are now children of the living God. Not because of any wonderful work that we have done. No. No. It pleased him to make us his own people. Therefore, we know that Jehovah will not forsake us. This prayer actually, we are going to pray it as a thanksgiving. And to say to him, Lord, I thank you because I know according to your word, because you have made me your own, you will not forsake me. Please, Lord, don't ever forsake me. Don't ever forsake me. Make it your prayer. Pray, 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 pray. Lord shall bless me, your God to make me your own. I am yours. I belong to you. I am your kingdom. I am your child. Please, I please you to make me your own, O oh God. Ah, thank you, Daddy. Thank you that you will not forsake me. Thank you that you will not forsake me, Papa. Please, never do. Never do, O oh God. Never do. Never forsake me, Daddy. Never forsake me. Thank you, God. Look, look, look. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much. Thank you so much for making us your own people. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, what a joy to know that we belong to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. As the scripture has recorded, the Lord will not forsake me. The Lord will not forsake us. The Lord will not forsake his own people. The Lord will not forsake his people. For your own great name's sake. For your own great name's sake. For your own great name's sake. Thank you, O oh God, for your name's sake, even for your own great name's sake, you will not forsake us. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Lord. Please 
keep on leading us keep on helping us keep on directing us lord never never turn away from us never turn away from us oh god cause us to hear you always cause us to hear and to follow you grant oh god that none of us we follow strangers but i will ever follow you as we hear you for you have made us your own people and we are glad that we are your children thank you lord thank you we say set and woe unto you we will not follow you we will not do your biddings we will not do your business we are god's people and for the great name of our god we shall never be forsaken Therefore, Satan, you are defeated in all your appearances, in all of our lives, to the glory of our God forever. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Sing this song with me. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful. Our God, you are excellent. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power Lord you are wonderful our God you are excellent excellent is your name oh Lord excellent is your power Lord, you are wonderful, our God, you are excellent. Oh Lord our God, in your excellency, in your excellent power, excellent dominion, we ask that you take charge in our nation Kenya and in nations of the world we pray and we ask O oh God for those Lord that this evil have already attacked and they are suffering because of it beginning with the medics we ask that your healing balm will touch each and every one of them Wherever they are, Lord, let them all recover. It is possible, Papa. Let them recover, beginning from this nation. Let them recover. Let them recover. You are the balm of Gideon. We pray, O oh God, that Satan will not continue to send people to hell. Lord, in your own amazing way, please appear unto them. One by one, touch them. And as you do, draw their hearts to yourself. Let the kingdom of God be populated as a result of this pandemic. Let the kingdom of God be greatly populated and Satan's hair depopulated. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing us. It is well with me. It is well with my family. It is well with my brethren. It is well with the families of my brethren, wherever they are. For we know we have a God who hears and answers prayers. Glory to your name, Lord, for we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. And the people of God shout aloud, Amen. God bless you. He will continue to keep and watch over you forever and ever. No plague shall come upon you. No plague shall come upon your family. For the Lord our God is a good God and he will continue to watch over us. Bye-bye. God bless you. See you again. Don't forget that on Monday, my wife, my precious, will be leading us again into his presence. This is a time to cause a great exploit.
to be accomplished in the kingdom of the living God and a great havoc accomplished in the kingdom of Satan. God bless you.